what is up you guys it's your boy dj leo back with another tutorial let's talk about side chaining today now let's do it in pro tools and uh we have done it already in reason and uh cubase and we'll move on to other different softwares as well but let's do it now in pro tools but before we get into that if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe hit that notification button give this video a thumbs up to keep the channel going and we'll be back with more and more videos and tutorials now let's get down to business without wasting more time <laughs> all right guys so now we in pro tools as you can see right here and here in pro tools it's just a little bit complicated but once you get it you'll find it very easy to do and like i said if you know it's very complicated to do what you're gonna do is watch my previous tutorial about saving your own templates after doing this process that i'm gonna show you you can save this whole thing and keep it for yourself now you know what you're saving and you know what steps you took to get there now it's not something that you just found right there now let's get back to what we're saying today which is side chaining now side chaining in pro tools i've got this song right here for reference um for for example that that's what we're going to be dealing with today let me play can you take me by my loop can you take me by my lupa bata? All right, so we have got that, and as you can hear, I've got a little, a little bit of reverb in it and delay. Now those are my sense effects that I usually always include, as I told in the uh, previous tutorial. So I've got here my reverb, right? My first reverb. I've got another reverb there, and I've got. A delay now usually what I do I side chain these things so they don't um, complicate each other I might side chain one reverb though and keep the other one like that which is something you have to practice and keep it in uh, your workflow and see how you want to work with that and how you want to set your things to work like all right so in this case let me just uh, put an example on one of these uh, reverbs Right, so let me pull that up and see how it sounds like. Can you take me by my loop? Let me mute that though. Coco Bata. All right, can you take me without wasting more time? I'm saying go to your send channel, which is the long reverb here. You can even move it up here, uh, so you don't complicate things. I go here there i've got my reverb and i'll go down to where my reverb is inserted i'll just go down to that i'll go down and go to whatever complex i want to use whatever compressor i want to use but mind you the compressor that you're using here it should have a side chaining function there are other compressors that cannot side chain but make sure you select yourself a compressor that can side chain like the one that's my favorite right here is from waves but i'm sure the one that comes with pro tools also has that function but hey let me go to the one that i use a c1 comp stereo because my scent is stereo now when you come to this remember on my previous tutorial i did say when you want to side chain after you're gonna have to use the buses right here is where the buses come in because you're gonna have to tell the compressor where it's receiving the signal from what channel right so you can't do that to every channel but you can do that to one cent which you can put on every channel right that will be very easy because once you do it to a bus then when you go to the next channel and you want to side chain again you simply select that bus all right so here what i'll do is go ahead to my mixer and check out what the routing is like so um as you can go as you can see my channel here this is my vocal and 
it has output one to two which goes to a saturation channel a send uh three and four goes to a lever uh five and six goes to another lever seven and eight goes to a delay so the one i'm looking for here uh, as to how i set up uh my whole thing here it's this one the third one which is the five to six that's the scent that i'm gonna use right so i'll go to this scent which is almost halfway here almost halfway uh close that then i'll go to uh that channel of the lever that i'm using which is also this one and as you can see it receives from five to six right then i'll go straight to that complacer that i've inserted on that channel which is the same channel i'll go to this key here which says uh, no key input i'll select that and i'll go to my bus and i know my input starts from uh five to six right so i'm going ahead i'm i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and select that bus five on the buses right you can see it's lit which means it's um active right so i select that that's going to bring in the signal to the compressor i pray that and my compressor will be active now remember if you have watched my other tutorials uh, like i said you can always do the settings that you can start with and then later on you can come back and manipulate them and make sure they work perfect uh with what you're going for right so simply simply just drag it put some settings to start with uh i say maybe let me let me put 20 there uh i'll put one for a faster attack and i'll say maybe a slower release somewhere there uh maybe there you can start there and keep dropping it and this let me set it somewhere there okay so let's see what we got here cocoa butter can you take me by my lupa butter but as you can see the compressor is now very engaged to what it's really doing here so you can go ahead and drop this down further just to hear what it's really doing there Coco butter. you can hear the reverb is just coming after that vocal drops right so let me push it more further Coco butter. You can see you can hear the vocal is sounding as good as dry at first and then it brings out that little tail at the end of it now this if you listen to uh if you play it like this in a solo mode you might think like uh hey there's much too uh, there's too much reverb and whatever so my advice would be put your settings try it solely and bring it back into the mix and see how it corresponds with the other effects and other channels whatsoever as entirely the beat as a whole right let's play that Coco butter. Coco butter. can you take me by my lupa butter yeah for me i still love to hear the liver a little bit and then more of the tail after the vocal right i'm not i'm not gonna get rid of the whole uh, live and only have the tail so the vocal sounds dry but anyway we make songs differently and the goals are different and uh don't limit yourself every general has its own uh things to attack you know uh things uh, the goals that you want to achieve with that record more uh, other records will need more live some will need less this is how you clean out the vocals if you need more go away on that one <laughs> it's entirely up to you but hey this is how you do that side chain in pro tools and it's very easy to do that was all for today you guys and remember to subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up hit that notification for more upcoming videos so you get alerted right and um you guys stay blessed <laughs>